Hi there, it's me, Tom, the part-time gamer, um, and I'm here showing you uh, a few things about Star Wars The Old Republic. I am in, um, where am I? I changed my, uh, oh here it is, Nar, Nar Shada. Uh, anyway, I wanted to show you a few things that's really cool about how I mod modified how I play the game. One of which is... Xbox 360 wireless controller. It's very cool. Um, second thing is, uh, oh yeah, I wanted to show you uh, if you're going to use a wireless 360 controller, you need to use. Uh, it doesn't automatically work with this game because it's not a 360 game. It's not a a game available on the console. I don't think. Yeah. So you need to use a special program. I'm going to show you that. Um, and because you have to use a special program, you have to come up with your own way of controlling your character, which took me quite a while. Um, I saw a few people online when I was uh, searching for it and how they configured their character, um, but I, I didn't see a YouTube video on that, uh, so I wanted to make one. So I want to show you that. The last thing I wanted to show you is just like, uh, uh, here's an outline of what will be covered in this video. <laughs> I appreciate it when people do that because then I don't watch a whole video it's pointless. Um, I hate when that happens. Uh, so the last thing I wanted to cover is I had an error this morning when I was trying to use my controller. It wasn't an error, it's just my controller wouldn't work with the game. And so uh, it worked yesterday. It took me um, a couple hours to troubleshoot it so I wanted to share that with you too. So if you're having trouble troubleshooting, I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video so you can fast forward to, I don't know, close to the end. Um, so that's all. I'm gonna, I better get into it because I have 10 minutes on this program to record. Um, you can already see I'm using the controller as a mouse right now. This is an Xbox wireless controller. I heard people say, no, you can only use a wired controller. Wireless doesn't work. Well, I'm here to show and prove differently. I took the risk, got a wireless controller, and yes, it works. Um, you need the, the, the most recent version of a program called XPatter. I had to buy the full version from uh, the person who created the program. Uh, it cost me $10, kind of annoying, but it works. So um, I found free versions that are like older versions of this program. They don't work with the Xbox wireless remote. So I had to pay $10 for it. However, it is a really good program. It works perfectly. So it's worth getting. Um, so I want to show you uh, yeah, so that this is the program you need to get. If you search Google, you'll find uh, for, for XPatter, the first result, at least right now, um, is the developer of it, and you just go through the things. You have to pay for, you know, I pay, pay through PayPal or whatever. Um, so it works great. Uh, when you're There's uh, other guides on how to set up your keys. Uh, I'm going to show you the configuration I use because it took me a while to figure out. Um, so the X two, three buttons are associated, or sorry, X, two, three, X, Y, B, keys are associated with one, two, three, um, space, I associated with the A button, so that way it feels really natural to jump. Um, uh, this is the mouse keys, so uh, the bottom joystick is the mouse. Uh, you can change the sensitivity and stuff, it's all cool. If you push the joystick down as a button, it's shift. Uh, the same with this joystick, push it down, it's shift. Um, this one's control is uh, the WASD keys, which, you know, control your character. Um, so uh, as far as using your abilities, one, two, three are here. Four is the right trigger. Um, if you look down here, you can see I have it associated with uh, shooting my weapon. This is a different type of shooting my weapon. Uh, the one keys are also associated with shooting my weapon. Um, I used the right bumper, which is over here. I have it associated with. So it's a shifted right bumper is right here. Um, a shifted uh, or an unshifted right bumper is a grenade. So it made it easier because they're both types of grenades, right? So that way I can kind of associate it with my mind. A lot of games, the right bumper will be grenade. So that way it just felt really natural. Um, and I did that for each one. So. It's uh, like the one is a one does something, a shifted one does something different but similar, right? So that helps me to uh, for it to feel like a normal game. Um, so I did that one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. So that brings me through eight. Um, so I can go all the way up to eight here. 
plus all the shifted eights. So the problem is nine and zero aren't associated with anything right now. Um, I don't have a fix for that yet. I haven't needed to. Um, you know, and then this is, uh, I have this associated with the bracket, which is right bumper, and I have this associated, one of them is associated with uh, a shifted space bar, which is this one, and then this one is a shifted, shifted tab, which is uh, left trigger. Um, the reason I have left trigger as tab is because that switches between characters you want to attack, that way I don't have to individually select them. Um, what else? I made uh, M the start button, so that way it feels like, uh, it just feels really natural when you push the start button for it to go to the map. Um, left bumper is uh, left click, and select button is right click. Uh, something really important when you're thinking of that. Uh, in this game, and this is the reason I got X-Patter, in this game, uh, if you right click, you pretty much have to hold down right click when you're walking around for it to feel normal, right? If you want to walk around like like you do in WoW or other uh, MMORPG games. And the way I made it feel normal is I made it, under advanced settings, toggle. So when you, when you uh, click it once, it toggles it on, right? So it's as if I'm holding it down. Um, now, you would think, well, that this must be annoying when you're actually trying to interact with things. It really isn't, actually. Um, what I found is, there's my, there's my little camera, I'm trying to lift the volume a little bit. What I end up doing, if I wanted to interact with something, you know, I, I turn, turn it on here, and actually, what I found is, if, I, if this was something to interact with, I just double click, and it'll, it'll try and interact with that. See? See, watch. I don't know if this thing actually says anything, my pet, no. But you can see, watch. Hey, okay, come here, come here. Where's it? Oh, here it is. Right here. You see how that works? I just, dub I just double click the select button. Um, and so when you're picking up loot, you double click, the little thing will come up, and I hit my left bumper, which is, um, you know, left click, and that'll accept it. And then I just push uh, uh, select again, and it's gone, and I just control my guy like a regular man, right? Here he is. He jumps and everything. Um, so I think that's it. Oh no, no, it's not it. Um, there's one other thing I needed to show you. I forgot in my last video. Um, remaking it, so so I could show this to you. Is uh, so you don't have enough space for all your moves, right? So a shifted W goes up, uh, uh, is uh, um, I associated with going to tab one. A shifted S goes to tab two. So you see, how I'm going up and down here. So if I if I and so so what I do is I'll do all my attacks and then I go down and these are all my um, right if I push two these are all my my skills that just help me recuperate right so seven is is this, is this seven yeah so that's seven right so I can buff myself but this is three see how that works um, so th this is a and so if I shift W it goes back and so if I were to show you this what this looks like let me bring bring the thing back here um, what I was just doing going up and down. Um, looks like this, right? W. Sh see, I'm shifting with my uh, right shifter here, right there. A right shifter, <laughs> pushing it down like a button, right? And I and it would go up and down and change between the two tabs. Now, if I want to get more moves, I can shift. You know, I can make this tab three and tab four if I really wanted to. Um, I'm just afraid I'll accidentally shift. It happens all the time. I'll accidentally shift when I'm shifting for a move. I'll accidentally change tabs. And I'll be like, well, why am I healing myself? You know, so it's not it's not perfect, but this has been the best configuration I've come up with. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you before I end the video is that thing I was telling you about before, which is why isn't my controller working? Okay, worked yesterday. Why isn't it working today? Um, my problem was can't speak for you for sure. My problem was in the control panel under user accounts and family safety. Wait. Sorry, it's supposed to be systems and security. Under systems and security, you go over here to change user account control settings. And for some reason, in Windows 7, it must be never you notify me. I had it up here, and it wouldn't work. It would work outside of the program, and it wouldn't work in the program. Um, so that was what was wrong for me. I pushed OK. I logged, you have to log out and log, log back in for it to take effect um, or restart. And then it just worked perfectly after that. So here he is. And uh, like I said at the end of my last video, I think I'll probably make a demonstration video. So